Good morning, dear students. In my last class, I had given you an idea about what is trigonometry, what is trigonometric ratios, what is P by H, B by H, P by B, cos sine, cos, tan, cos x, x, cot. Along with it, I told you that there are two res the three reciprocal relations. Sin theta into cos theta equals to 1. Cos theta into sec theta equals to 1. Tan theta into cot theta equals to 1. I also told you two quotient formula, two quotient relation rather, that is tan theta equals to sin theta by cos theta and cot theta equals to cos theta by sin theta. Now, in continuation of my previous lecture, today we are starting exercise 8.1. Completely related with the concept that you have learned in my last lecture. I have taken question number 2. In question number 2, a right angle triangle PQR is given in which angle Q is 90 degree. The hypotenuse PR is given as 13 cm and side PQ is given as 12 cm. We have to find out the value of tan P and cot R. When we are talking about tan P, we are focusing our attention at this very angle and when it is cot R, that is the angle R, this is, both are the acute angles. P and R both are the acute angles. Now. In this right triangle, two sides are given, third side is missing. So, we will start like this solution. By Pythagoras theorem, PR square equals to PQ square plus QR square. This is the Pythagoras theorem that we know. Now PR square is 13 square, PQ square is equal to 12 square and we are required to find out the value of QR, QR square. And this one is 13 square 169 and this is 144 plus QR square. So 169 minus 144 will give us QR square and if you subtract that you will find 25 equals to QR square therefore QR equals to 5 centimeter. So the measurement of QR is equal to 5 centimeter. Now, we are having, we are knowing all the three sides of the right angle triangle PQR. We are required to find out the value of 10 P minus cot R. So 10 P in triangle PQR. 10 P equals to 10 means P by B. 10 P is always P by B. Now P is our concerned angle, so we will focus our attention over here. If this angle P is our concern, then perpendicular will be 5, base will be 12, and hypotenuse will be 13. So perpendicular by base we have to do, so we will simply write 5 by 12. By concentrating our attention in the acute angle P, we we can write 10 P is equal to 5 by 12 and again we can we have to find out the value of cot R so when we are talking about cot R our, our concerned angle is angle R so cot R is equal to B by P now see think all the situation from the angle of R R suppose it's side 12 will, will be perpendicular 13 will be hypotenuse in both cases and 5 is the base. So base upon perpendicular for cot R will be 5 upon 12. So what we are finding, 10 P is also 5 by 12, cot R is also 5 by 12. Therefore, 
tan p minus cot r equals to 5 by 12 minus 5 by 12 equals to 0. So the answer of the first question number 2 is 0 dear students and in this way by simply applying the values by simply applying the T ratios and concentrating on the acute angle in the question we will find out P, B and H and then we will solve it. One more question of the same way, same way we will solve. I have taken question number 4. We are given with the fact given 5 cot alpha cot A 5 cot A equals to 8 to find to find sin A and sec A sin A and sec A this is question number 4 of exercise 8.1 now see dear students the solution I am telling you given 5 cot A equals to 8 therefore cot A can be written as 8 upon 5 just recall your memory cot deals with the ratio of base by perpendicular so let base is equal to 8k and perpendicular is equal to 5k base upon it is b by h but it does not mean yesterday i told you that it does in my last lecture i told you that it does not mean the base is 8 only and p is 5 it is some multiple of the ratio of 8 is to 5 the ratio of base and perpendicular will be 8 is to 5 it does not mean that base is 8 and perpendicular is 5 it can be any multiple of that so it is always better and advisable that you use the k k concept instead of writing 8 and 5 you write 8k and 5k even if if you don't do so if you don't suppose k your answer will come but that is technically wrong and your marks may be deducted in the board exams so b equals to 8k and p equals to 5k now by pythagoras theorem by pythagoras theorem h equals to under root p square plus b square that is under root p square means 8k is whole square and b square means sorry p square means 5k is whole square and base square means 8k is whole square so what we are finding root under 25k square plus 64k square on adding the two we will find that it is under root five sixty four k square and this is eight k five k eight k five k eight k square and five k square and this will give us twenty five k square and sixty four k square result is 89k square let me see the question once again question number 4 oh sorry it is 15 here 15 cot A equals to 8 so we will make the correction it is 15 and 15 15 k square this is 15 k square 15 k square means 225 k square and on adding you will find that 225 plus 64 will give us 289 k square and that will be simply 17k so the value of h is now 17k in the triangle all the three values we have got p is equal to 15k b equals to 8k 
and h we have calculated as 17k all the three values we have calculated now we are required to find out sine a value of sine a as i told you sine equals to p by h and what is the value of p over here 15k and what is the value of h that is 17k cancelling k k k and k we will get 15 by 17 then the next thing is sec a sec a equals to h by b sec is the reciprocal of cos and cos is b by a therefore sec will be h by b now what is h over here your h is 17k and what is your b it is 8k cancelling k and k k from the numerator and denominator your answer will be 17 by 8 so sin a will be 15 by 17 and sec a will be 17 by 8 so this is your question number four dear students now come to same type of question question number five i will discuss see how to solve question number five it is a very important question question number five says that one of the trigonometric ratios will be given to you and you are supposed to find out all other remaining t ratios number five the question goes like this given sec theta equals to 13 by 12 to find all other all other p ratios trigonometric ratios we are required to find out so one of the trigonometric ratio is 13 by 12 that is sec theta and rest of the trigonometric ratio that means five trigonometric ratios more we have to calculate how to do it solution given sec theta equals to 13 by 12 sec theta equals to 13 by 12 now sec means h by b just you have to recall sec means h by b so is h equals to 13 and b equals to 12 no h is multiple of 13 and 12 is uh, sorry h is multiple of k 13 13 k we will write it in this way the ratio of h and b must be 13 by 12 it does not mean that h equals to 13 and b equals to 12 rather let h equals to 13 k and b equals to 12 k where k is a proportionality constant the next so in right angle triangle you are having two sides hypotenuse and base have to apply the pythagoras theorem by pythagoras theorem h square equals to p square plus b square we know it and h square is 13 k is whole square p square to calculate b is given as 12 k is whole square now solve it it will be 169 k square is equal to p square plus 144 k square you bring this on this side you will find 25 k square equals to p square and therefore p equals to 5 k p square is equal to 25 k square therefore p equals to 5 k now all the three t ratios you all the three sides you are having p equals to 5 k just calculated b equals to 12k and h equals to 13k 
you have to find out the remaining 5 t ratios the first t ratios sin theta sin theta is p by h now your p is 5k upon h is 13k k and k cancels out 5 by 13 will be the required answer sin theta find out cos theta cos theta is equal to b by h your b is 12k and your h is 13k so it will be 12 upon 13 one more thing sec theta is given as 13 by 12 cos is the reciprocal of sec if sec theta is 13 by 12 cos theta must be 12 by 13 and that is now tan theta equals to p by b now what is p p is 5k and what is b over here it is 12k k and k cancels out 5 by 12 is the value of tan theta now next one is the cosec theta again remember dear student cosec is the reciprocal of sine if sine theta is 5 by 13 cosec theta will be 13 by 5 you can find it like this h by p h equals to 13k upon 5k cancelling k you can write 13 this is 13 by 5 see sin theta and cosec theta are the reciprocal sec theta already given we are not bothered about sec theta and the last one is cot theta again i will like to tell you cot theta is the reciprocal of tan theta therefore tan theta is 5 by 12 so cot theta will be equal to 12 by 5 cot theta is equal to b by p and what is b over here your b is 12k and p is 5k k cancelling k our answer will be 12 by 5 so tan theta is 5 by 12 and cot theta its reciprocal will be 12 by 5 this is how to find all the t ratios when one of the t ratios are given to you a very popular question from board exam point of view now let us discuss a very important question question number six in order to solve this question number six dear students you must have some concept of the similarity as it is a question which is related with similarity and trigonometry together in the examples when you will go through the examples before this exercise you will find this type of question solved over there Question number six, what is given? Given that A is an acute angle and B is also an acute angle. And further it is given that cos A equals to cos B. So these are the given facts. To prove, to show, angle A equals to angle B. The very first thing, put it in your mind dear students, that A and B are two acute angles, but remember these two angles are not the angles of the same triangle. We will construct two different right angle triangles in which in one triangle A will be there, in the other the angle B will be there. It is not the triangle ABC. See how to do it. I said that it is a combination of similarity as well as trigonometry. So this is the very question. Figure goes like this. In two quest two figures, this is 90 degree. We will name it A is acute, let it be A. And in this figure, B is acute, so this let it be B. PA, PQ, and call it as RS. So we are, are having two triangles, PAQ and RBS. So in right triangles, PAQ and RBS. What we are having? Angle Q equals to angle S equals to 90 degree. 
and angle A is acute and angle B is acute. Further, we are having cos A equals to cos B and cos A equals to cos B. All these things are given. We have to show that angle A will be equals to angle B. Now, how to do the solutions? Proof. Proof. Given, what are the given facts? You see, cos A equals to cos B. Cos A equals to cos B is the given fact. Cos means B by H. So, in this triangle, B is equal to AQ and H equals to AP. And in this very triangle, cos B is equal to BS and H is equal to BQ. BR, sorry. BR. So BS by BR is cos B and AQ by AP is cos A. And these two are given as equal. Now you do this one. We will change these two. That will be AQ by BS will be equals to AP by BR. We can do so by simply cross multiplication. These two can change their place. And let it be equal to K let. So what we can write? We can write that AQ equals to K times BS and AP equals to K times BR just by cross multiplication. So this is the thing we have calculated, we have AQ is equal to K into BS and AP is equal to K into BR. Now, see students, go through this solution very attentively. You will also go through the one of the examples also given, one example is also given before this exercise, which deals same type of question. This question very important from exam point of view. Now you just see in triangle PAQ two sides that is AQ and AP are given. AQ and AP are given. What to find? Third side is 2. What is the third side? PQ. Okay. Whatever you have let K call it as equation number 1. Now in right triangle PAQ in right triangle PAQ by Pythagoras theorem what to find we are required to find PQ square and that will be equals to AP square minus AQ square PQ square is equal to AP square minus AQ square. AP square's value is K square B square, K into BR's whole square, and AQ is equal to K into BS square. So we can write it as K square BR square minus K square BS square. You take K square as common and see it will be BR square minus BS square. Now come to the triangle RBS. In this very triangle BR square minus BS square will be RS square by Pythagoras theorem. That is K square equals to we can write RS square in triangle RBS by Pythagoras theorem by Pythagoras theorem so uh, PQ square equals to K square RS square or PQ equals to K into RS or PQ by RS is equal to K, call it as equation number 2. 
PQ by RS equals to K. What is equation number one? AQ by BS is equal to AP by BR is equal to K. So after it, in the final stage, you will write from one and two, we get what is from one AQ by BS. is equal to AP by BR is equal to from 2 PQ by RS dear students now see in these two triangles PAQ and RBS AQ by BS AQ by BS is equal to AP by BR AP by BR is equal to PQ by RS so three sides of triangle PAQ proportional to three sides of the triangle RBS the ratio of three sides of triangle PAQ are respectively proportional to the three sides of the triangle RBS it means therefore triangle PAQ is similar to triangle RBS and it is by SSS similarity SSS similarity criteria and if two triangles are similar then the corresponding angles are equal therefore angle A equals to angle B proved so this is the way how we will prove question number six a very important question question number six and same type of question is there also which is in exam given in the example which is in the form of sign so question number six I have solved for you now come to question number eight see question number eight I will explain right now I hope you have understood question number six it is a combination of similarity as well as it is a combination of similarity as well as trigonometry now the next question that we are going to discuss is question number eight question number six we have discussed now come to question number eight it says if three quart a is equal to four to check if 1 minus 10 square A by 1 plus 10 square A is equal to cos square A minus sine square A or not. We have to see whether this is equal to this LHS is equal to RHS or not we are given with only one fact that is 3 quart A is equal to 4 now solution given 3 quart A equals to 4 therefore quart A equals to 4 by 3 dear students we know that quart is the reciprocal of 10 therefore we can say therefore 10 a will be equals to 3 by 4 because 10 is the reciprocal of quart we have used that very property and that is 3 by 4 is the value of 10 a one thing more quart a equals to 3 by 4 or 10a equals to 3 by 4 so what is 10 10 means p by b so we will write let p equals to 3k and b equals to 4k by pythagoras theorem
h equals to root under p square plus b square and under root p square will be 3k whole square plus 4k whole square and on solving you will find that ultimately it is 9k square plus 16k square togetherly it will be 25k square and taking the things out of the square root we will find 5k so your h is equal to 5k now our verification our checking process starts over here we will write LHS is equal to 1 minus 10 square a by 1 plus 10 square a 10 is value we have calculated as 3 by 4 we will put that very value 1 plus 1 minus 3 by 4 whole square by 1 plus 3 by 4 whole square equals to 1 minus 9 upon 16 upon 1 plus 9 upon 16 so on solving 16 minus 9 by 16 and 16 plus 9 by 16 by taking the LCM the 16 and 16 cancels out 16 minus 9 it is 7 and this is by 25 so this is our LHS side LHS is equal to 7 by 25 on solving and the last part is RHS RHS we will see what it is RHS equals to cos square A minus sin square A now see cos square A cos means B by H is whole square your B is 4K and P is 3K cos means H is 5K so B by H that is 4K upon 5K whole square minus sin square A P by H is whole square 3K by 5K is whole square so what we are finding 4k and k cancels out from both the brackets now 4 by 5 whole square that will give us 16 by 25 minus 3 by 5 whole square that will give us 9 by 25 on solving we will get 7 by 25 therefore LHS is equal to RHS checked we had to check this one whether LHS equals to RHS so this is your question number 8 in this way we will we can check this one now we will come to the question number 11 and that will be the last question from my side to discuss and rest of the question definitely you will go through each and every question of this NCRT book as well as all the examples given before the starting of this exercise uh, the last question is question number 11 dear students and true and false with reasoning that is a very important thing you have to state if the following statements are true or false and while doing so you have to give sufficient reasons if you are say, saying true why it is true if, if you are telling that it is false why it is false so it is question number 11 I will discuss state whether the following statements are true or false justify your answers that means you give your reasons the value of 10 a is less than 1 the value of 10 a is less than 1 okay what is 10 a first thing value of 10 a just remember see the table 10 0 0 10 30 1 by root 3 
टेन फोर्टी फाइव वन टेन सिक्सटी रूट थ्री टेन नाइनटी इन्फिनिटी लाइक दिस इज गोस सो इट इज इट इज सेइंग दैट टेन ए इज ऑलवेज लेस देन वन नो इट इज नॉट ट्रू इट कैन बी मोर देन वन हाउ यू विल जस्टिफाई दिस वन टेन ए इज इक्वल टू पी बाय बी now p and b p can be greater than if p is greater than b then tan a will be greater than 1 if p is equals to b tan a will be equals to 1 if p is smaller than b tan a will be smaller than 1 so what is our justification what is our finding the value of tan a can be greater than 1 it can be smaller than 1 and it can be equal to 1 so stating statement that the value of tan a is always less than 1 is false this statement is false and this is the justification part second sec a is equal to 12 by 5 for some angle for some angle a you have to justify whether it is true or false now see justification sec a means h by b h by b hypotenuse is the longest side hypotenuse is the longest side of a right angle triangle so hypotenuse upon base 12 upon 5 yes h is 12k and b is 5k definitely h is greater than 5 so sec a is 12 by 5 for some angle a is a true statement if this statement is true third one cos a is the abbreviation of cosecant a cos a is the abbreviation of cosecant cosecant a statement is false because i told you in the last class while i give i was giving you the introduction that cos is the abbreviation of cosine and not cos is the abbreviation of cosine a cos a is the abbreviation of cosine a and not of cosecant a cosecant a is the cosecant a's abbreviation is cosec a next cot a is the product of cot and a again a false statement cot a i told you it never means cot into a why the reason is a is an angle on which cot operator is working the cot well cot a means cot value of angle a it is not two different thing i told you sin cos tan cos x sec cot they don't exist unless and until they work on some angle so a is the angle on which the cot operator is working and so cot a means cot value of angle a it does not mean that cot into a so this very statement is false and the last one the five fifth one pays attention to your students sin theta is equal to 4 by 3 for some theta for some angle theta once again just what is the trigonometric ratio of sin theta sin theta means p by h p by h is equal to sin theta see i have told you in a right angle triangle hypotenuse is the longest side so hypotenuse must be greater than perpendicular if it happens then we are finding our hypotenuse is 3 and our perpendicular is 4 so hypotenuse can never be smaller than the perpendicular hence this statement is again a false statement so dear students in this way i have tried to explain some of the important questions of this examples 8.1 
I hope you will go through rest of the questions that I have not solved and also from other books of R.S. Agarwal or for, from any other helping book and if you are finding any difficulty in understanding feel free to ask the question in my whatsapp group so we will meet in the trigonometric ratios for some specific angles in our next lecture till then students goodbye